Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make 2 channel GSM relay switch. We can turn on and off our devices from anywhere by sending an SMS. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well, subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. These are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino, then I connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 full pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. Then I'm gonna connect GSM module and connect its VCC pin to 5 full pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its TX pin to D2 pin of Arduino and its RX pin to D3 pin of Arduino. Then I connect BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. Then I connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to D4 pin of Arduino. Then I connect a 5 volt relay and connect its 1 coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Then I connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. Then I connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5 full pin of Arduino and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. Then I connect another BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. Then I connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to D5 pin of Arduino. Then I connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Then I connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. Then I connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5 full pin of Arduino and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.